All right, all right. Hey, today let's do something different. If you guys are having trouble getting GPUs and like that whole Best Buy thing where you have to join that secret society just to get a GPU and spend 200 bucks and you don't want to do that, what are the alternatives? And I mentioned this before, but it's always good to put out new videos on this stuff, how to get GPUs. And one way is obviously you can go get a laptop with a, a 30 series GPU in it and start mining. I love the two laptops I have. I spent about 800, but well, one was 1300, was a Dell, is for development. The other one was a Lenovo, about 800 bucks. And uh, they are making money for me. They're actually mining on the GPUs and CPUs, mining Raptorium on the CPUs and mining Ethereum on the GPUs on the laptop. So there's always a way, just look, there's deals, you can get stuff and uh, just start mining. If you're trying to score a GPU by itself, it's a pain in the butt. The scalping prices are still high. The used prices are still high on eBay. So you just got to keep looking. So anyway, this article is helpful because you can also buy a gaming rig. And the gaming rigs are pre-built. And then you're ready to go, man. You get, the, um, you get a nice graphics card at a decent price. Do not go to small companies that will build you a custom PC because... They may be saying they have these 30 series or nice graphics uh, graphic card in stock, these GPUs ready to put into the case you want custom built, but then you find they weren't really being honest and you're sitting and sitting for weeks, weeks and weeks, and um, yeah, just waiting. And I had to deal with one of these companies. Uh, I forgot, I actually forget the name, but they really they really pissed me off because I put uh, about 1200 bucks into this pre-built, uh, not pre-built, this custom built, I wanted a 3080. They said they had it on their customization thing. And uh, no, they could not deliver. And I was really kind of like, dudes, what are you doing? What are you doing to me? I'm trying to see if I have it here. Uh, stand by for a sec. We got to find out because I got to slam them because they really irked me. Oh, uh, who? not light. Who are they light? Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to waste too much time. Uh, I don't see it. I thought I had my, my list here of stay away, Will Robinson. Stay away from those people. Yeah, let's go down one more. No, 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 it's not there. Oh, I don't have it. Crap. Yeah, they upset me so much. I don't have them on my list anymore. Yeah, what a bunch of douchebags. Um, I think it was Light, L-Y-T-E. And they were they, they go, well, you can keep waiting for the GPO. <laughs> and uh, I said, no, guys, you kind of misled me. And I want my money back. It took a took a back and forth between a bunch of idiots who work at light technologies. What a bunch of morons. And uh, they ended up, I, I said, just give me my money back. And I was going to do a charge back. They got all butt hurt. Uh, Cause I basically said, you stole from me. You pretty much don't take someone's money until you ship a product. I've been in retail and online retail. You do not charge the credit card until the item ships. It's just, that's the way you do business. You just don't, you don't charge away and charge your credit card and don't ship for two months. That's, pretty unethical and you know just not right uh so those idiots um yeah back and forth i just said i, I said take out the damn restock for your current cancel fee and they robbed me and they're a bunch of morons and uh yeah stay away from light technologies anyway i'm on a rant enough of that so anyway my point is go to stores you trust go to stores like amazon best buy you can return without a pain in the butt without a big issue uh, returning. So here we got the best RTX 30 series gaming PC deals on Amazon. I'm a big fan of Amazon. Amazon's okay, but again, returns are easy. Prices are okay. You can usually get them cheaper somewhere else, but you might not get the customer service where you can just drop it in a box and return it. I even returned a GPU brand new once, and it took a while for them to approve it, but I did get all my money back. Uh, so here we got the best RTX 30 series gaming PC deals on Amazon. RTX 3060, RTX 3070, and RTX 3080. Better yet, have it delivered within the month. Okie dokie. These are the deals. Let's go down. This is by Eric. Thanks, Eric. Uh, yeah, they have several SkyTech MSI and Thermal Take RTX 30 series gaming PCs that have been marked down in price recently. So there you go. You can actually get a full gaming rig for less than buying a GPU in some cases, right? You got your motherboard, your CPU, your GPU, and a case. 
and maybe some uh, keyboard and mouse, man, you're up and running, man. Yeah. So, I mean, this is an option for people. Just buy a damn gaming PC and get up and rolling or buy a laptop. Uh, trying to build one now with the risers and all the power supplies and that, it's a pain in the ass. So, I'm even looking at getting those riserless motherboards where you just put the GPUs right on the motherboard, you know, about eight long, eight, eight slots and you're good to go. Just the risers and cables and power supplies. So it just it becomes a, I don't know. It just doesn't become cost effective. You're buying all this crap just to get these GPUs plugged into the motherboard. But if you can buy a case, man, you're up and running. You got a nice gaming PC you use to play games or do business or whatever. And then you can mine when you're not using it. And that's what I do with my laptops. If I'm not using them, boom, they're mining. All right. Uh, let's see, you got these things, these pre-builds that are shipped by Amazon or drop shipped directly from the manufacturer. RTX 30 series video card availability is still a cruci cruci I can't speak, I went to public school. Excruciatingly low, and thus the price of these cards still haven't gone down. Yeah, it's hard to get anything in these GPUs. Uh, on eBay, RTX 3060 cards go for over 600 and the 3070 cards go for over 900. It's ridiculous. If you want your next PC to uh, sport one of these current gen cards and you want it soon, then going pre-built will probably save you both time and money. So the thing is pre-built. It better already be built, not custom built, like I said with that other place, because you will be sitting for months and you'll not get your money back uh, without freaking threatening a chargeback. Yeah. So this is a good option. So we got an Amazon RTX 30 series gaming PCs in stock. We got this guy. We got the old RTX 3060 is in this Skytech Intel with a Core i5. Uh, it's a gaming PC with 16 gigabyte RAM and one terabyte SSD. That is not a bad price. 1072. And then if you use your Amazon Prime, if you use your Amazon Prime Visa, you get 5% back, right? So, uh, you know, knock off 5%, man. Get that Amazon Visa rewards card, dude. It's worth it. Prime Prime Visa, whatever it's called, from Chase. Uh, yeah, it's worth it. You get 5% back. All right, what else do we got? This is a, 10, a 1072. We got uh, another. These are RTX 3060s in it. All terabytes, 500 gigabyte. One SSD and there's a hard date. Yeah, get the SSDs by, yeah, don't get the uh, hard drives. Get the uh, SSD. Oh, that's enough. I want to get, I would get, oh, geez, I would get the one terabyte SSD. If you're doing gaming, it's going to fill up quick. Don't mess around with 512, especially the cost difference. Just get it. Here's a Ryzen 5, 5600. You know what? This one's looking pretty good. It's, it's 1295. Man. I think you could CPU mine with the Ryzen better than the Intel. So this one you could CPU mine and then GPU mine at the same time. Got a lot of fans in there for airflow and you're going to keep that thing nice and cool as you're using CPU and GPU mining. So this one right now looks like the best one if I was going to game and mine. Alrighty. Uh, there's more Core i5, Core i5, a lot of Core i5. Yeah, I'm telling you this AMD is looking good. I might get this one. Keep that on my list. Uh, here's a Ryzen 5 again, 1599, a little more money. And what do we got? We got a 3070. Yeah. 3070, you're going to get, let's see, 3070 Ti gives you about 56 mega hash. Yeah, so on Ethereum if you want that. Oh, uh, here's some more. We got Ryzen 5 is a good one. The Core i7. Now we're going up in, going up in CPU power. Ryzen 7, now we're getting up in price. Yeah, getting up in price, man. All right. Ooh, liquid cold. All right. Thermal, thermal take, LG, LCGS reactor. Wow, that's now you're getting up in price. Again, don't balk at the prices because when you look at a cost of a GPU, like a 3080 Ti, which is probably 1800 bucks to 2000 and you're spending an extra maybe, what, 800 bucks on parts, 16 gigabyte RAM, one terabyte SSD with an i7. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's something to sit down and do the numbers. Crunch the numbers and how much is your time worth to just piecemeal something when you just buy it pre-built. Uh, what do we got? A Dell XPS RTX 3060 gaming PC for 900. We got an i5. 
and there's a 3060 in it. Dude, this isn't bad at all. Thousand bucks, boom, you're up and running. 512, yeah, maybe good. Eh, I like the terabyte, but oh well, you can still run with that. Oh, uh, Alienware. These are always expensive. Ryzen 9, 5900. Ooh, you can mine with that. CPU mine Raptorium, Avian, Monera Ocean. Uh, yeah, you could do all that yummy stuff and do the uh, GPU mining as well on a 3080. This thing could, well, you have to look at your ROI. You might make a couple bucks a month, maybe three bucks a day with a 3080, and then with the uh, Ryzen 9. It'd take a long time to pay that off, but again, Graphics cards being what they are, availability and price, this may not be a bad deal. This may not be a bad deal at all. Well, RTX 3080 is way more powerful than the previous generation's best video card, the RTX 2080 Ti. I never had a 20 series card. Uh, 3080 Ti and 3090s are the only cards that are more powerful, but they cost hundreds of dollars more, plus they chew a lot of power. Those 3080 Ti's, 3080s, 3090s, they, they, they are power hungry. They are power hungry and they put out some heat. So prepare for that. In these cases, you should have enough fans to keep those things cool. Uh, we've got a Lenovo. I like Lenovo's, man. I do. I'm sold on Lenovo. we got a 3060 gaming PC, terabyte, 256 SSD. I don't know why I put the hard drive in there. Just make it all SSD, baby. Make it all SSD. Yeah, there's a good one. Nova Legion Tower, 1800 bucks. You got a i7. This one had an I, Intel, I, Intel um, i5. More gaming PC deals. 30 series gaming PC deals. Okay, if you're looking for more gaming PC deals, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Go check out Amazon, man. Go check out Alienware, XPS. Uh, this one here I do like. Skytech with the uh, Ryzen 5 and the uh, 3060 and the one terabyte SSD. Not a bad price. Again, get you up and running. You got a gaming PC, a work PC, and a miner. And you can expand from there as you actually get your hands on GPUs if we ever get back into that crypto winter where people are dumping their rigs and GPUs go down below 400 bucks <laughs> or 500 below, right? Then you could uh, take this case here and uh, put splitters in it and put up the six GPUs on it for mining. Yeah, that's what I did. I started with a tw uh, an ASRock motherboard gaming PC I built in 2013 uh, with a GTX 760 graphics card, which was shot, but I could still use it for display mode. I went and bought a 1660 Super or something like that, put it in it. And now that, that 2013 gaming PC has six GPUs with a one to four splitters off the motherboard, same motherboard, and it's mining. It's a beautiful little miner, man, for Ethereum. The thing is rock solid, and it is kicking butt. And yeah, man, you don't need to get fancy with this mining stuff. Just get something going, and you'll start accumulating money. All right, guys, that's all I got. I thought we would run through something different and what to stay away from. Stay away from custom-built shops. Don't believe them. Don't trust them because they most likely don't have GPUs in stock, and they're just trying to get you to buy a custom built and then you're going to end up waiting and waiting and getting turked and it's not worth it go to amazon look for something pre-built that has the card in it ready to ship boom you get up and running and you're not going to get frustrated then if you get it you don't want it and it sucks or it's something you didn't really really want you just return it amazon's great about that all right let me know if you've done this before if you bought pre-built or what you ex what you plan to do to get up and mine or if you're having trouble finding gpus are you using retail bots have you bought the best buy uh you know, secret society uh, package just to get an option to buy a GPU at a $200 entry fee. Uh, I don't know. Let me know. I'm curious what other people are doing right now. Laptop mining, pre-built mining, and uh, or just scavenging for GPUs. Yep. All right. That is all I got, guys. It is uh, time to go. Make like a baby and head out time. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.